Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Eagle Syndrome. What is Eagle Syndrome? It is a clinical syndrome associated with elongated styloid process, calcification of the stylohyoid ligament, and impingement, impingement to nerves, especially the cranial nerves like 5th, 7th, 9th, 10th cranial nerves and vessels, the external cavitary artery, internal cavitary artery, closely related to the stylar process and to the stylohyoid ligament. Also called stylohyoid syndrome or carotid artery syndrome, especially if the carotid artery is compressed or impinged, also called stylalgia. The styloid process, what is styloid process? This is a slender, bony projection from the inferior aspect of the temporal bone, anterior and medial to the stylomastoid foramen. We know that through the stylomastoid foramen, the facial nerve comes out. What is stylohyoid ligament? This is a fibrous band that extends from the tip of the styloid process to the lesser corno of the hyoid bone. Let us remember that as the age advances, the styloid hyoid ligament may be calcified in around 15 to 70 percent of the population. As the age advances, chance of calcification is more. But not necessarily everyone will have signs, symptoms of Eagle syndrome. Okay, so here is some anatomy, you can some idea. This is the temporal bone, mastoid process. This is the styloid process of the, of the temporal bone here. And from styloid process, we have ligament like that of the stylohyoid ligament from the tip of the styloid process going to the lesser corner of the hyoid bone, stylohyoid ligament. We have also stylomandibular ligament that may be, they may have some type of pain pathology, it is called Arnett's syndrome. So today we will not discuss about Arnett's syndrome, we will discuss about Eagle's syndrome. So, Arnett's syndrome is the pathology in the stylomandibular ligament and the uh, Eagle's syndrome, the, there is some calcification pathology in the stylohyoid ligament with, with a, associated with, also with elongated styloid process. Okay, so muscle here is supposed to build up the agastic muscle innervated by the by the facial nerve, okay. So we got that, and if we look at that, this is the stylohyoid ligament, okay. And look at that outside the stylohyoid ligament, we have the external cavity artery, inside the stylohyoid ligament, we have the internal cavity artery, okay. So if there is calcification of the stylohyoid ligament, that calcification may put pressure on the external cavity artery and internal cavity artery and we will get the carotid syndrome or stylohyoid syndrome. This is a variant of the Eagle syndrome. Okay, these are some images or x-ray picture. This image is from this, from the oral and maxillofacial pathology. And we are seeing this is the styloid process here. This is the calcified stylohyoid ligament here. Okay, like that. This is the hyoid bone. This is the calcified stylohyoid ligament. This is the styloid process. Here is the styloid process. Here is the stylohyoid ligament. Okay, and this is the styloid process here. This is the styloid process. Is the mastoid process the temporal bone? Okay, this is a styloid process. 
So Eagle syndrome commonly occurs in adults, usually after the age of 40, with the history of neck trauma, history of neck in injury, or maybe history of surgery like tonsillectomy, the removal of the tonsil, especially the palatine tonsil from the oropharynx. It is more common among female, it may be bilateral. The trigeminal nerve, fifth cranial nerve, facial nerve, seventh cranial nerve, ninth cranial nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve, tenth cranial nerve, vagus nerve, may be impinged or compressed, and also the carotid artery, both external carotid artery, internal carotid artery, or one of them may be compressed, or any of the cranial nerve may be compressed. Symptom, vague facial pain, pain to turn the head and to open the mouth, dysphagia, difficulty in deglutition or swallowing, earache, also called otalgia, pain in the ear, dysphonia, difficulty to make the, the speech from the vocal cord. There is some problem in the vocal cord, so it cannot vibrate, so person cannot talk properly. Sinus pain, especially maxillary sinus area, maybe other paranasal sinuses, headache, dizziness, and there may be TIA, transient ischemic attack. Okay. So the carotid artery may be compressed, carotid artery over the wall of the carotid artery. We have the sympathetic nervous, nerve plexus over the tunic adventitia of the artery. So the pain may be carried by the sympathetic fiber or maybe somatic fiber, fibers from the head and neck area and, and the, it may be carried by the trigeminal nerve. Okay, so we have pain and fa vague facial pain. Pain may be around the side of the head and neck. It is also possible. Okay, what is the treatment of Eagle syndrome? Treatment, if there is no symptom, sign symptom, if there is only mild symptom, then only reassurance. No treatment is necessary for mild symptoms. Local injection of steroid may relieve symptom. In severe cases, part of styloid process and the calcified stylohyoid ligament we may, may, be, may ligament require surgical excision, which is called stylohyectomy. Okay, so the styloid process and the ligament which is calcified, may be excised surgically. Prognosis is good in this syndrome.